Oh, there's water in it. Okay, this is the rostrum. What's left of it? Inside is the rostral keel. Um, let's see. The cerebral cavity should be next to the keel. The cerebral cavity? It should be like the keel's in the middle and then the cerebral cavity should be like the interior. Oh, in here? Rostrum. I think it's like the interior part of the rostrum. Yeah, it would be See, like. Well, we're looking this at the right ventral right view here. right now, right? No, we're looking at the dorsal view. Oh, this is dorsal view. Yeah, because like. Yeah, we're up there. Oh, okay. Oh, the pre cerebral cavity. Sorry, I didn't hear you. So, this whole area right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the rostral fenestrae. Are these little holes? Okay, hold it. Just, yeah, right there you can see the holes. Nice. Then the pre-orbital process, what would that be? This stuff? Yeah. Oh, that would be this piece of bone jutting out. See, this is pre and post. Yeah. Things that come out as would be right here. Then this is the post-orbital process. Endolymphatic fossa. Ah, endolymphatic fossa. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in on that. So go ahead and lift it up a little bit. Oh, not that much. <laughs> so, roll it down. Perfect, okay. And then the occipital. Odic capsule. Odic capsule, that I might need to be saying it. That's yeah. on the bottom, I think, on this. It should be nice. down. Ah, uh, good. Is that, the, are the, these? Yep. That's the odic capsule. And then the foramen magnum is this right here. Yeah. Okay. Or the, go ahead and kind of lift it. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Odic nice. capsule, okay. foramen magnum. Anything else? Uh, the uh, occipital condyles. The condyles the occipital are, the condyles yeah. are these tiny little things. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're looking side. at ventral. Ventral view. Right. Okay, let so, me back this up a little bit. Starting up again. Okay. Here we have the rostrum. Oh, I see right here. And then the rostral keel. Nasal capsule. I believe these things right here. Here it looks. Oh, the good. Yeah. Nasal capsule. Um. Rostral fenestra are these other holes, a little more medial to the midline. <laughs> We're going to be using science words. Um, bas basti trabecular process would be this thing right here sticking out. That would be the basti trabecular process. Cartoid foramen. <laughs> Carotid, carotid, foramen? Oh, carotid. Carotid, carotid foramen. foramen. Yeah, Thank nice. you. That would be this flat surface. Oh, wait, no, that's the right basal plate. It. I think it's like up See high. this little Sorry. hole right yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. This little hole right here? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh. Yeah, it looks like that yeah. area. Yep. Yeah, that's carotid. <laughs> carotid. Carotid. <laughs> Somebody else should be speaking. How do you say it? Carotid foramen. Carotid foramen, this little hole. Yeah, and you can see kind of like a, a midline where the carotid would actually lay against the basal plate. Oh, for the carotid artery. Right. Yeah. Carotid artery of the brain. There you go. Okay. This is the basal plate. <laughs> And these little thingies right here are the occipital condyles. Occipital condyles. Condyles. Yeah. Condyles. Yeah. Is that it? I think so. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. This is the ventral view of the splank. Wait. Splanchno cranium. <laughs> okay. All right. So once again, the rostrum. At the very top. There. Nasal capsule. Where is that? Is that the thing that has actual things in it? Oh, um, there's like a. Yeah. Okay, what those little balls of whatever? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I can see on that. Oh, okay. I just didn't know if you could see from where you're sitting. I'm good. Oh, okay. So yeah. those with the little balls in them? Yep. Hyoid arch. Is this thing, right? Nice. Yeah. 
then the mandibular arch is the thing that looks like, what is that, the mouth? Yeah, yeah it's the top it's arch, and the hyoid, a hyoid arch is yeah. the bottom one. Just like it is in this. Yeah. The mandibular arch make, is, consists of two things. The top one is the Plato quadrate, and the bottom is Meckel's cartilage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, brachial arches down here, there are five of them. And there are this thicker, more prominent arches. They're the thicker, most more prominent arches. Um, and then there's gill rakers, which are the little, aren't they the thick the thicker things of the, the coming thicker. off of them? Yeah. And then the, the, spaghetti -like uh, yeah, the spaghetti like gill rays. How's it going? And the vertebral <laughs> I'm not, you're not on. Vertebral column. <laughs> it's all good, it's really close, you can't see anybody. <laughs> so, okay, I have a question. This arch is the hyoid arch? Up underneath of there. Underneath, so it's yeah. not this thing up here, nope. it's underneath. underneath okay. of there. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so underneath the mandibular arch, right? That's the name, yeah, both okay. of the jaws. So the hyoid arch is underneath, okay. okay. What is this in the center? That's just where the teeth are attached. Oh. And then um, the nasal capsule, are, that's the things that are filled with little, what are those things Ooh, yeah. in there? Those things are actually the, um, little the little, <laughs> yeah, they're boogers. <laughs> yeah, they, those, are, those are the, um, kind of the little um, lamellae where they sense smell. So you guys will see, you guys are actually going to dissect those out. Like in horses, like it's that kind of deal. I used to come home. Oh, I don't know. But they basically, so like, a shark's nose is way different from our nose. It doesn't go all the way and connect into the pharynx. It's just a blind sac. And so you basically got like an incurrent aperture and an excurrent aperture. And then you've got these, um, what do they call them? Um, well, the nasal capsules. And they've got all these lamellae inside that have the sensory cells that pick up chemicals in the water. Is that the thing of Lorenzini? Like, no. what's that? Is that for smell or? S no, the ampullae of Lorenzini sense electrical fields. Uh, that's really cool. Does it have anything to do with the lateral line? The lateral line, well, it's actually thought to be kind of a projection of the lateral line. Okay. So some, some places say that, like, the ampullae of Lorenzini are part of the lateral line, but they have a different function. So the lateral line just senses water Pressure waves, right? Yeah, pressure waves. Oh, okay. Waves. And the ampullae of Lorenzini sense electrical fields, like produced by muscle contractions in animals. Okay. Nerve impulses. So we're going to do dorsal now? Um, so the dorsal view is really just the, okay, well here's the um, condoclinium, the splenum, the, and the vertebral column. Here. Um, yeah, we tilt it. Yeah. And this is the dorsal view. You can see the vertebral column right there. The whole bottom half is the splint. The is from the below. The is from the ventral view. Splint no, front no, vertebral. Okay. All right, full shark skeleton. The axial division, which I guess would be from here to here, but not including this. Not including, show that again. Not including this down here. Which is the that pelvic, is a pelvic fin. Okay. Or the pectoral. Okay, so the axial division includes the brain case, the skull. Say hi. The backbone <laughs> and the dorsal fin. And the and then the appendicular division, which would be this, is the appendages, so the pelvic fin, but not the dorsal fin, because that's in the axial. axial. What else?